Hey everybody, I'm Mundane aka Mundy here, and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Speedrunner Sundays. This week we're going to do a solo run of Genetics, which is one of the newer curated workshop maps, and one of my favorite maps. We're going to break it down bit by bit and talk about some things you should and maybe should not do on this stage. Before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to Seven. If you don't know him, he's a gold league and very likely to be platinum soon player, and he helped me out with making this video. If you're interested in more from him, make sure to check out the link to his YouTube and Twitch channel in the description below. Okay, so this first part right here is a pretty simple choice between going up or down. If you go up, you get this boost panel. And if you go down, you get this these boost bubbles that take you up. I prefer the boost panel because I like having boost, although there's not too much opportunity to use boost in a stage. Unless you are really good at using grapples with boost. But for the most part, that's not necessary for this stage. So uh, I like to do it just because it makes this part easier, boosting into this swing makes it easier to get up to that next part that we're going to discuss right now. Now, when you come up here, you're going to want to go into this boost if you can. Um, it's definitely very helpful. And what you want to do when you're coming out of it is hit this grapple up here, swing up. I messed up there. There you go. And practice that because it's not as easy as it looks, but it, 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 it helps a lot. Now, if you're maybe beginner or advanced and you really aren't confident that you can do that, at the very least, when you come out, jump before you hit the wall. Because if you don't, this happens, and then you're in this awkward situation where you can't hit the other side of the wall, you have to maybe swing back over, and it wastes a lot of time. So if you can't do this, and if you can, I would recommend you practice it, at least jump. Now, there's an interesting little thing with this spot where you hit this switch over here, and it opens this. Now, if you let your opponent get that by going through the boost over there, it's a huge uh, gain of speed, and uh, it's, a, it's a big skip, basically. So you want to try to avoid that. Now, the way to do that is if you see a guy waiting here, he's going to be doing this back and forth while the door is closed, waiting for you to go through that so he can get up here. Instead of going this way, just go to the right. If you can, try to plan it so that he's swinging to the right when you do it, so this way he has more ground to cover. What I like to do in this spot is, I like to make it kind of look like I'm going through the boost with messing up, kind of delaying right here, and if he, he follows me, I can just go into the boost, and if he doesn't, I can do one of these. Oh, look at that, I'm oh, no. <laughs> I actually messed up messing up, wow. Oh, no, I'm messing up. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just going to go this way. That's another good reason to have the boost down here. Uh, it's a lot easier to make that turn and make that little delay. So what that would look like is something like this, right? Or something like this. And that's a quick punish. Another good time to go to the right instead of taking that boost is... When your opponent's really lagging behind, it's a lot quicker, especially if you have boost yourself, to go just straight up although I suspect that if you're really good at getting this it's probably still faster to take the boost this way although you do give them an opportunity to get this if you do that so be careful with that okay so after you've made your decision here on how to get up here something you definitely gonna want to do and probably one of the most important things in the stage is get getting this boost here because it's a lot faster than doing this. You see how slow this is relative to that, especially since you were just climbing up a wall. Although you will get this booster over here. So it's not too, too bad. But definitely preferable to get that boost over there. And the way you would do that is, sometimes you're gonna be in a position where you can just like jump straight in and that's fine, but sometimes you won't be. And if that's the case and you wind up right here, you can jump off and swing to the right on that and get in there or you can caterpillar up now what's caterpillaring if you don't know what it is basically what it is is holding against a wall so you want to hold towards the wall and then you want to hit alternating between grapple and jump grapple and jump grapple and jump but faster so and you don't want to do it at the same time because if you do the same time you get this and you don't want that you want to grapple and jump almost like you're rolling it all right, and you can do it faster. So that's if you're close, and it would be kind of awkward to, like, jump off here. If you're right here, for example, this is kind of awkward. 
and probably slower at that point because you can just caterpillar once or twice and get up there. Uh, that's a very useful technique. This is not stage specific. You can do this on pretty much any stage if you just need a little more height on the wall. Make sure to hold toward the wall again and grapple then jump. Grapple then jump. Alright. Now for this next spot, I'm going to cover this real quick since I just uh, did it about a couple seconds ago. There is a there is a boost up there as soon as I can not mess up. Now, this is mostly for swag. I just wanted to get this out of the way. Um, it's kind of slower because you have to swing all the way up. And it's very easy to mess up. You can wind up doing something like this. And then you're like, oh, man, wow, I'm going really slow. So, if you do decide to take it, you want maybe you want to work on your swag skills. Make sure that you, like, are coming up against the wall as best you can. It's actually not too much slower, especially once you get good at it, but not really my cup of tea there's two other ways you can do this here and those are the main ways now if you're a beginner or advanced player you probably just want to take the simple route and take this boost here now there's a little bit of optimization you can do here it, it gets you a little bit of speed for this spot but basically what it involves is cutting the corner and skipping that boost entirely and just basically drop grappling down like that uh, but it's it's a uh, a bit more difficult and probably not necessary if you're playing this this uh you know against other advanced players or beginner players you know that that boost on the side is just is going to be just fine so just do that one of the reasons i like cutting the corner here though is because it does make entry into the next area a little easier but as long as you know what you're doing at least a little bit you should be fine so for this next part I don't have too much trouble with it, but uh, I'm in silver. Some people doing this next part wind up maybe doing something like this. So they, they do it, and then they, they grapple too soon, and they wind up running backwards and getting killed. You want to make sure that you're not turning left as soon as you as soon as you cross this platform. So you don't want to do it right here because then you'll wind up hitting this wall right there or running backwards. So what I do in that situation when I take this boost is I do two jumps. So I do one jump and then another jump and then come around. So, But the most important thing I would say is making sure that you're far enough to the right so that you don't hit that platform. And that's going to be true no matter how you do it. You know, if you're too close, you're going to wind up hitting this uh, platform in some form or another. Not good. It doesn't work. Now, if you're a beginner league player and you want something really easy, you can just do this and just hit that wall and do that slide. But that is quite a bit slower and it's not really going to help you at higher leagues. Um, not quite a bit. I mean, you know, it's a little bit slower. But it is much easier. So if you're really, really having trouble with that, you could just take that slide right there. Okay, moving on. So this next part right here. You have a couple of choices right here. You can take the downward path. Uh, I'm not really a fan of that. Especially since the, the routes I take don't set it up. But if you want to take the downward path... It would be something like this, but it, it, it seems a little bit slow for me. I don't know, maybe there's somebody better than me that can do that. But mostly what I wind up doing is taking the upper paths. Now, in order to take the upper paths, you need to be high. Because if you're not high, I'll show you what happens. So, let's say I'm not high enough. This winds up happening, and then you lose all your momentum. And you definitely don't want that to happen. So, make sure that when you come into this section, you do it high. I find that cutting the corner makes it a little bit easier to do, but for the sake of those of you who aren't able to do that, I'm going to take the boost and then come into it. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm grappling and jumping at the same time, right? So, Or not at, at the same time, but grapple, jump, grapple, jump. Um, that's something that requires a little bit of practice, also not stage-specific. But 
basically what I'm doing. Drop grapple, grapple jump, grapple jump, and trying to stay high here. Now, once, once you do it successfully, you'll have two choices here. You'll have either this boost right here, or going over it and taking this boost right here. If you take this boost right here, which is a, a little bit easier, what you're going to want to do, though, is you're going to want to make sure that you're not holding the wrong direction when you go in it. So right here, if you're holding left when you hit this slope right here, you could wind up getting stuck. And if you're holding right, you will definitely get stuck on the bottom slope like that. You don't want to do that. So either don't hold a direction or what I prefer to do is just to be really safe, follow it. So when you go in there, right, left. That's all. Not too hard. Right, left. Hold right until you hit the uh, first slope, and then hold left until you're done. But let's say you decided to go up top here, and uh, it helps to have a lot of momentum here to really do this. Now, first off, if you don't have a lot of momentum and you happen to be up here somehow, you can do a little wall headbutt there. I kind of messed it up. I don't take this path too much. And come on that slope right there. But for the most part, if you have enough momentum, and you usually will if you got up there. So let's let's get some momentum here. You're gonna wanna come down like this. You don't have to necessarily hit this exactly. It's not as hard as it, as it looks. You can just skip past that and you'll be fine. Now for the next part, in order to open that door, you have to hit that switch right there. Otherwise you won't have this uh, path as an option. But this is the simpler path if you have it open. Just taking that boost right there. Uh, be careful on sudden death, because if your opponents are good enough to cut the corners, you can wind up getting left behind in sudden death, although it shouldn't cost you too much when you do it and you're not in sudden death. Or if, if sudden death just started, it should be fine. So if you want something a little simpler and you've opened up that gate, or somebody else has maybe, you can just do that. But you, what you don't want to do here is hit the ground, really right yeah. instead of hitting the ground on the slope and covering all that vertical distance what you should probably do is hit that grapple right there and ideally what you would do is hit that grapple and then come and do a wall headbutt over here so this way you can get additional speed from that from the uh, ceiling slope. I call them wall headbutts. It just saves uh, a little bit of time there to not wait to hit the ground. Another thing you can do with that middle section, and I'm all the way back here so I can get the speed, is uh, a wall headbutt on the little um, slope kind of in the middle of that area, right here. I find that to be a little bit slower so I tend not to take it, and it's not very easy to do. If you want to get uh, really optimized, cut the corner. Again, probably not necessary for advanced league players. Uh, advanced and below. Maybe not even for expert. I haven't played against too many experts. I don't know how good they are nowadays. So, you know, your mileage may vary there. One time you might want to hit the ground, though, on this uh, boost here, and let me show you, is when you have the drill. Now, here's a little thing about the drill, and this, again, is not stage-specific. If you somehow get a lot of momentum and can wind up staying on the ground, the drill will give you a huge speed boost. Drill is basically, like, constant boost the entire time it's active. Um, so, it's important to be moving fast when you use it if you want to do this sort of trick and it's not slope specific but most of the times that you see it it will be involving slopes but there's some other times just to get it out of the way where you can do it like maybe you're doing library 
and you're do, going through those uh, five levels of swings, and you've got a lot of speed, and you hit the ground, you can use the boost. But for the most part, when you hit a slope at high speed, it's very important to have the high speed. That's the most important part. Um, you can get a huge speed boost. So let's take a look. So I hit the ground, and then when I get to speed, I, I'm, 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 I'm literally off the screen right now. No boost used. No grapples whatsoever. Literally off this. And if you don't have the speed, just to give you an example from the same spot, but you don't have the speed, even if you hit this slope, it's not going to do much for you. So we're, we're clearly not traveling off the screen right now. So you might say, well, Mundy, why can't I use this boost over here to do that with the drill, right? That's high speed, and that's a slope, right? Well, the simple fact is you have to hit the slope and then make a turn. So you're going to have to leave the ground and also turn. So it's not really going to work out too well. You're going to get that boost for a little while, but then you're going to have to make this turn, and you're going to crash into a walker. You're going really fast, probably, and it's going to really slow you down. So you don't want to do it there. So another time you can use the drill is when you're going to the left over here. It's not as effective, but it definitely works. You can do something like this. But you see, again, we don't really fly off the screen doing that because we're not getting as much speed. Here, we fly off the screen because we've gotten so much speed from that boost. So definitely the most effective on that far left side. So for this next part, you have a couple options. Um, if you can, you probably want to try to hit these ceiling slopes, a.k.a. the wall headbutts. But it's not really necessary. It's not going to add too much speed. It's not going to be too much of a problem. But again, a little bit of optimization. This one's pretty easy to hit, and it'll help out a little bit. Um, now, you can swing through after hitting that slope, or you can use that. I don't really use that too much because hitting the ground kind of slows you down. And the only way to do it is if you actually headbutt this, whereas sometimes if you're going at high speed, you could wind up just flying underneath this, and then that's not going to really work unless you get lucky because you'll probably wind up hitting it like right here or something. Um, probably better to grapple there. But that slope is an option. Especially if you're, like, lower league and, you know, that, that ceiling's kind of low. So if you feel like you can't really hit that too well, you can just take the easier path. If you're in lower leagues, I mean, if, you, if you're able to execute these strategies even reasonably well, you'll probably be doing a lot better than most of your competition. Okay, and another thing that Seven pointed out to me... Uh, something I don't really do, but if, if you find it easier, experiment, and you find out that this is easier, you can try this. Instead of doing the drop grapple here and then hitting this, you can do something like this. So, hit the top ceiling, and that helps you get that um, slope a lot easier. Just be careful that you don't wind up hitting that instead of the ceiling. But if you can get that pretty well, it, it might be even better than... Uh, hitting this one right here. I just find this a lot easier to do personally myself. But uh, if you want to mess with that, feel free. Now for this spot right here, I mean, if you're going really fast, you're probably going to start flying off the screen. So you're going to have to do like a little bit of improvisation every now and then. Kind of like come up with it on the fly, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. This stage is reasonably forgiving with the um, the ceiling grapples. So you should be okay as long as you practice. And that's very important, too, to practice. I mean, you know, if you just try this the first time, you're not going to do it perfectly. Uh, I have quite a bit of practice on this stage. As I said, it's one of my favorite stages. All right, so for this next part, now you have an additional option of going up here, whereas before that wasn't really reasonable because people would just run ahead while you're trying to do this and try to get up there. Um, but now you have the additional option of getting up there. And the way to do that is you're going to want to hit this right here. That requires quite a bit of practice, and it's a decent amount of work. And it's really not that much faster, especially since you have to make some vertical travel. And, you, you know, if you mess it up, it's really going to hurt you. It's really not much faster than just going this way. So it does offer you boosts, but this does too. So it's kind of like 
for that work, you got both this boost and this boost, essentially. So, if, if you don't really feel like you can do that, it's not really a big problem. It's not going to hurt you too much. Don't worry about it. Just continue going straight, and you should be fine. But the way to do that is just swing up here. You can even add a drop grapple if you're, if you're uh, feeling confident. It's um, a little harder to do quickly without speed, but we will do some full runs at the end. Okay, and I think that pretty much covers it. Again, like, you know, you'll have to wing it if you're going low. You might want to use those uh, ceiling grapples and whatnot. Um, but, again, the stage has a lot of uh, grapples, and it shouldn't actually be too hard to keep your momentum as long as you have an idea of what to do in the major spots, you know, catching the boosts or cutting the corners, things like that. Now for this last part right here, it's actually very hard to show you some good strategies on this without having a lot of speed, so I'm gonna do some full runs and I'll be back with a couple of options that you can have here. So the first thing you can do is like, swing up and then drop grapple through and keep a lot of speed. Alternatively, what you can do is stay up there and try to get up to the top and get the three boosts as I mentioned previously. Here's an example of staying low through that path. Kind of easy to hit the ground when you do that. Here's an example of getting up there at full speed. And yeah, like I said, you know, you can pretty much like wing it. Theoretically, I imagine you can drop grapple off of this over here and then hit this and hit that boost. Well, there you go. All right, so let's take everything we've learned and do some full runs and see if uh, we can get some good times here. Come in, delay this if you want like that. Do the swing up. If you can't, remember to jump. Very important that you don't do nothing coming out of there. I cut the corner there, take the top. It's pretty much my preferred route. Yeah, uh, dra grappling up to the top there doesn't work as well as it does on the bottom. So yeah, just make sure at least jump there. Want a simple route, take the boost. Make sure to stay far enough to the right so you don't hit that uh, floor there and wind up going all the way backwards. Messed up there, trying to get the um, little slope there. And if you mess up, you know, don't get discouraged. And unless you're trying to set a record time or something... You probably shouldn't restart because you're going to mess up in real time, in real play, so you might as well get used to recovering. So you see there, even though I messed up, I used that slope to recover a little bit. Come underneath that because I don't like taking that. It's very hard to do. Well, hard for the benefit there. Oh, so it does work if you go on the top. I'm kind of learning some new stuff myself here. Cut in the corner again. Take this boost. Make sure to hit the right and the left. Do your bunny hops. Let's do one with swinging up at the top at the end. If we can, uh, there's a really good swing there. This is kind of bad, but we'll take the boost. Now there, it's definitely uh, better to take the boost, I think, because it would have been really awkward trying to do the drop grapple there. I'm going to swing up here. You don't have to drop grapple there. You can just do that one swing over. Or two swings, if you want. Caterpillar a little bit. It's kind of forcing it there. Probably would have been better to use the... Uh, what do you call them? Now, the boost over there and the slope uh, on the first downward boost will often save you if you miss cutting that corner. But in the second one, you don't have that option. Go this way, a little bit of a, a fake out. Take this boost again. Double jump so this way we can get enough height and whatnot so we don't hit the floor again. Take this because we have the drill. Get a lot of speed. 
I jumped there because I was trying to uh, time the ending of it, but I was a little bit off. Because you do, even though you are getting a lot of speed, I mean, you do still want to be grappling towards the end of it, so this way you can maintain that speed rather than start losing it all from being on the ground. Although I guess you could just use some boost for a little bit until you find your next grapple. That, that would be fine, probably. Just going straight up there using boost. We were close, so we uh, caterpillared up. Kind of messed up there. There's some spots where you can get stuck on, like, platforms or whatnot. I mean, it happens. Don't get frustrated. Everyone makes mistakes, too. That would have been too far to Caterpillar. Way too far, so we just took the other way. You know, um, everyone makes mistakes from entry to platinum and diamond. It's just that the frequency and severity of them become less, and the recoveries become greater. So make sure to be re uh, practicing your recoveries, too. And you can see there, if it's really hard to get the height from when you take that slide. So you might want to take the low route. Yeah, but it's, it's really hard to get a perfect run, you know, despite what you might see in the uh, highlight videos. And it's not to say that people making those highlight videos aren't good. It's just they make mistakes. But they're not going to show you that because then it wouldn't be a highlight video. And you see I hit the ground there. That's why I don't like going low on those spots. Try to take the lower out here. Yeah, you see, you lose a lot of speed from hitting the ground. I'm not sure how to avoid that. I've just always gone high, and it's worked very well for me. Hit that switch. Get here. Don't hit the ground. We don't have the boost, the, the, the drill right now, so we don't want to hit the ground, we want to hit the grapple. Make sure to do the right and left in your bunny hops. Another thing you can do is, like, swing in there. All right, one last lap, and then we'll call this a video, I think. Do the delay to juke people out trying to wait at the bottom. They'll think you're going in. And then hopefully by the time you get off the screen going to the right, it'll be too late for them. All right. So, yeah, for this stage, you're definitely going to want to practice your jump grapples. What I... Like, like this. Jump, grapple, jump, grapple, jump, grapple. Try to keep them straight. You can see if I, if, I do, if I do it too soon, I don't get really much of a speed boost. But you can see if I do it straight, I get more of that little shadow behind me after a while of doing that. So, shadow is good. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you can get more speedrunners content. I release a new video every Sunday. If you want to see more speedrunners that have already released, make sure to check out the speedrunners playlist. Also, a very special shout out to Seven once again. Thank you so much for helping me with this uh, video, buddy. Again, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. There, I use a box to trip him so he can't freeze me. And then follow up with some boxes to slow him down to give me a time to get a good boost. And I take the point there.